I came up in my granddaddy's house, 1017 First Avenue, in Olive Green, two bedroom in Bessemer near the train tracks, inside where my granddaddy and my mama Duke and me. But it was never just us. 1017 had a rotating cast of family characters who could be staying there at any time. Walter Jr., my uncle, we call him Goat, was always in and out of jail. When he wasn't locked up, he'd be there. One of many aunties and her kids might move in for a while. The house was small, 672 square feet to be precise. So things got tight. Sometimes Duke and I got the bunk beds. Sometimes I'd be on the couch, other times the floor. My granddaddy had an extra rollaway bed in his room. At one point there was a bed in the living room, it switched up. Thoughts on what you just read. Could you relate to that? Of course. In what ways? How was your... See, I've never had my own room growing up. Never. I've never had my own room growing up. It's, uh, my sister had her own room. And me and my brother shared a room forever. I've never had my own room until I got my own house. Uh, obviously, that was a chapter when he was discussing growing up. Obviously, it gets deeper than that. Yeah. But that was the first page. Yeah, that, the, uh, the room shit. I done slept on the floor. When I came, I came home from jail in baby mom's house. I'm sleeping on the f when I sleep on the floor, but I'm on the floor watching the TV with my son. I couldn't even afford a five, a five dollar white tee. That's you pretty know, tough. You know what I'm saying? I just had came home, and you know the money that that she was making had to go to you know take care of the household while I was gone and shit like that. So I, I came from nothing, like nothing. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with that, like parents in and out the house and shit. Like I ain't meet my dad till I was 11. Mm. Like so, yeah. So I can I can relate to everything he's saying. Even his house. I mean, less than 700 square feet. That's like. A one bedroom in today's time. Yeah. If that. It's yeah. not a lot. Yeah, my mom, you know, uh, the most she ever had was like a three bedroom. Her room, my sister's room. We couldn't share a room with my sister because she's a female. Mm. In the boys' room. And we'll have three beds in, in that room. Now, when you see a book like this from Gucci Man, this is his autobiography yeah. up to this point. What do you make of it? When you see something like that, not a lot of people rappers have yeah. written an autobiography. Yeah, I was I was actually going to do one myself, just about myself or whatever. I was going to have my sister write it or whatever, but I mean, I'm happy to see where Gucci is, like like mindset, like he got his wife, he got a TV show coming up to film his wedding, he's doing good with the music, you know, on tour, he finally went um, overseas, he said, for the first time in his whole rap career. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. He's always been somebody, you know, that idolized in the music game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy for him. They referred to you as one point as the Gucci man of, the, was it the Bay Area? Was yeah, it Oakland? or The Bay. Um, and like I said before, I don't know if it was the jury or if it was the street shit, if it was them, if it was me, like how Gucci fuck with different artists and they get popping or they, like other artists scared of me. I don't know what it was, but like I said, I fuck with Gucci. So... I mean, I take it as a compliment. You've recorded a couple records with him. Yeah, I have two records with him. All after his uh, recent prison stint? One or? after. The one I shot, I did it. I mean, the one I recorded a long time ago was with him and Scooter. Ah. Like, like, right before Scooter got popping. Like, because he was popping in the South, but like, before he had took off. Now, people have publicly, obviously, we're on the outside looking in, but publicly, people have seen a different demeanor of Gucci. Yeah. He's smiling a lot. His yeah, appearance exactly. is different. He's getting money. He's getting money. He ain't, he ain't on drugs. He's getting money. He got his female. He got business moves up. You're going to see a lot of that. So was it a different experience working with him this time post-prison? I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Before. Gucci had the tour. He had a show in San Francisco. We had our talk prior to him. Um, coming. He got off the flight, straight to the studio, knocked out the verse, went straight to the block, shot the video. He pulled out just him and one other person. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, f last, the first time I, I met him, he was with Coach K and Scooter. It was kind of like the same process, but he just looked different now because, you know, 
he just got out of jail, ain't using drugs, seemed more focused, cracked a little joke, but he did the verse. He's like, you fucking with it? If not, I can go in there and do it again, do a different <laughs> one, you know what I'm saying? Shot the video, he asked me, like, you wanna shoot the video at the venue, or you wanna go to that location? I'm like, I wanna go to the hood. And I really just wanna show him, like, basically, like, what type of nigga you fucking with also to where I can bring you to my neighborhood and nothing not happening, you'd be good. Cause he, he, he was by himself. 